First Alert Weather with Madeline Parker is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. We're looking nice and dry on First Alert Doppler Network for this afternoon. We're going to see some big changes coming up over the next couple of days. But first, looking at more clouds rolling into the heartland, which is kind of keeping our temperatures just a little bit cooler for today. We see those clouds sticking around throughout the evening as well. We can see a little bit more of that thicker cloud coverage. But we also see some of those gusty winds starting to make their way into the region. And here's what we're looking at for Thursday morning. Lots of arrows. And that means we're seeing pretty windy conditions, at least 15 miles per hour. And we could be seeing wind gusts anywhere between 35 and 40 miles per hour tomorrow. So just keep that in mind, especially for your early commute. If you're going to be driving along 55 or along 57. In fact, even 65. We're going to be seeing those very windy conditions. They're going to be sticking around for a while, but around the afternoon, we're going to also see some light showers moving through. We can see them going through the boot heel in southeastern Missouri, starting to make their way into parts of southern Illinois. Around 3 p.m., we can see them pretty much lining up along the border there, going down into parts of western Kentucky and down in the boot heel. Going to start drying up by the time we reach the evening hours, though. Here's what we're looking at around 7 p.m. Still very cloudy, but also still very windy. Those winds are going to stick around for a while. Going to get a little bit of break by Friday, though. Here's what we're looking at Friday morning. Still pretty cloudy, not seeing a lot of sunshine in the morning. We'll see a little bit of a break by the afternoon, seeing some partly cloudy skies in our southernmost counties and seeing some sunshine as we head into our northern counties. But by the evening, we'll be seeing more of that cloud coverage coming back into the area and potentially bringing in some rain. Now tomorrow morning, going to be seeing some of those clouds rolling in, but temperatures staying in those upper 40s, so not going to be a super cold morning. And then by the afternoon, we do have that chance for some showers rolling in, but temperatures going to be in those upper 50s and low 60s, so it's not going to be super cold either. But here's what we can expect for the next couple of days. Scattered showers on Thursday and then a 20% chance of rain on Friday night going into Saturday, and we could potentially be seeing some thunderstorms with that. Just hearing some thunder might be a little bit of lightning. We're still keeping an eye on it. When we're not expecting two severe events coming along. And then by Saturday, scattered showers, 58 for the high, dropping down to 54 by Sunday with more of those scattered showers. But going into Monday, we could potentially be seeing some wintry mix coming into the heartland, especially for our more northern counties, but transitioning mostly into light rain. And that snow really not going to be causing any impacts for the region. Then we'll be seeing more sunshine coming back by Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures going from the 40s up to the low 50s, but our mornings will be a bit chillier, low of 29 on Tuesday and a low of 31 by Wednesday.